Because everything you worry about would not matter anymore. You wouldn't have to pay your bills or call your mom. Like, I wouldn't have to be cool anymore. <laughs> At the end of the world, everyone has one outfit and it's made out of trash for some reason. <laughs> like, I wouldn't take care of myself. I would be fucking doing drugs everywhere, pissing in the streets. I'd be eating nothing but 45 slices of pizza a day and just like handfuls of Molly, just like, ah! Just going up to every girl in the street with sauce all over my face, like, give me one reason why not. Uh, it's over, baby. <laughs> Shit, I just realized my version of the end of the world sounds a lot like Saturday, so. I did all this shit last week. The <laughs> thing is, for some of us, it's already over. <laughs> Shit, At least it's the summertime now. That's a reason to live, right? <laughs> I love the summertime more than anything, man. In fact, it was so nice out yesterday, I just broke up with my girlfriend. <laughs> it's not true. I've been single for years. <laughs> a pretty nice day, though. <laughs> I've been single for a long time, and I think I realized why. It's because people always say you gotta be yourself when dating, but I can't black out and scream DMX at someone I just met. You gotta work your way up to some shit like that. Oh, you like to snort Adderall and freestyle? What's up, girl? <laughs> yeah. I was texting with this girl that I met from New Jersey. Already a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. It's like Long Island's arch nemesis. <laughs> we hate them because they're just like us. <laughs> In every way. So I'm texting with this girl, right? And she's like, I really want to see you. I'm like, oh, you should totally come over. She's like, I would, but I can't drive right now. I'm like, why can't you drive right now? She said, because I just smoked opium. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, um, I don't think I can really hang out with the type of girl who can't even drive on opium. <laughs> I'm ripping a bunch of opium with my lady. I need to know she's going to be there to take me through the Wendy's drive through <laughs> And then to the emergency room. <laughs> What, you can't walk and chew gum at the same time? <laughs> Release you animals back into the wild. <laughs> you know that expression, you are who you fuck? <laughs> you know, like you're defined by the people you sleep with? I don't think that's true. I don't. But I do think that the worst person you ever fuck says a lot about who you are, you know? We all have one worst. A lot of people are thinking about him right now. He's screaming inside. Imagine if we were all thinking about the same person. <laughs> we're not though, I guarantee mine is way worse. Guarantee it's worse. So I was in LA a couple years ago, right? And Every dude has this problem where when we go out of town, a switch flips, and we just have to fuck a stranger, right? And it's really hard to do because you don't know anybody. So the only way to do that is to get as drunk as possible, walk out the front door, see what happens, you know? So that's what I did, right? But I'm in LA, so the bars there close at two in the morning instead of four. I'm used to going out here, so I think that means you gotta drink twice as much in half the amount of time to hit that sweet spot. You know? So I'm four o'clock drunk at two o'clock. And they kick us out. Me and a couple of other comics, we end up going to this after party for a TV taping. This show called The Burn with Jeff Ross. Yeah, which sounds like it could be cool, it's just a bunch of fat old Jews roasting each other and singing karaoke. Honestly, I don't know what they were celebrating. The show was canceled like three hours later. But 
they're still serving alcohol and it's free, so you know what's happening. <laughs> Because I like to say fuck you to open bars real quick. Alcohol is supposed to cost money so you can remain alive. Right? <laughs> so I'm just going in, free alcohol. And this is when the night takes a weird turn, right? While this is happening, a large group of gay meth heads crashes the party, right? It looks like a bunch of gay extras from Mad Max just ran in there. They're singing karaoke. I'm so fucking drunk, I think the band Orgy has showed up and started performing live. Jeff Ross knows all the words, it's fucking crazy. I black out. The next thing I remember, is I'm walking down the street with some woman, right? First thing I remember her saying to me is, I have two kids that I haven't seen in two years. That's one year for each kid. But don't worry, I'm single. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm really starting to worry. <laughs> so we end up going back to my hotel room, right? Which for some reason had a strict no guest policy. Right, it's posted all over, they told me 10 times, but I don't give a shit at this point. I'm sneaking her in there, right? We get into the room, no problem. As Soon as we get inside, she goes to the bathroom. I'm sitting on the bed, spinning out. I think like 10 minutes goes by, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I walk over to the bathroom, and I realize the door's not shut all the way, right? So I push it open, right? and the smell hits me in the face. Unlike anything, my eyes are watering, right? And it's the smell of feet. And she's standing there like this, washing her feet in the sink. I've never seen this move before in my life. She goes, just a minute. I'm like, you're gonna need more than that. And I slam the door. So a few minutes go by. And I'm fucking her, right? <laughs> and the smell is so strong that I'm starting to think somebody's gonna walk by, smell this shit from the hallway, and now I have a guest in the room. <laughs> I gotta stop and put a towel under the door. <laughs> don't worry, I wrapped it up. I wrapped a towel around my face. <laughs> so eventually I pass out, right? I don't... In the morning I wake up to her frantically shaking me. She's like, she's gotta go. And she asked me for five dollars to take the bus. Which I give to her because I'm a gentleman. You know? Like, here you go. Tell them where you got it. <laughs> As soon as she leaves, I hear. <laughs> I open the door and it's the hotel manager. I saw her leave. He's like, I told you no guests in this room. It's a strict policy. You cannot have guests in here. And finally, I'm like, dude, what is the big deal? Why can't we have guests? Who cares? And he goes, Well, I'll tell you. Because sometimes stupid tourists pick up homeless people from the strip and let them sleep in their rooms. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> you really nailed that one. <laughs> yeah, I fucked a lady bum. So, if you are who you fuck, what kind of person does that make me? I'll tell you, I'm a hero. That's right, I took this girl in, I cleaned her feet up, I fucked her, and I gave her five dollars? That's more charitable than anything you've ever done. She must have spread the word, because the next night there was a line of homeless chicks around the block. All chanting, Mookie, 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 Mookie. Oh, thank you guys so much. Keep it going.